My name is Kati Angulov. I teach motion graphics and, uh, at the Art Institute of Orange County. Motion graphics is basically, if we want to really go down to the bottom of it, is animation that sells a product. In the area of motion graphics, you use these tools that help you build up your projects and uh, they're very specific. You could learn them very fast and you could utilize them together or separately. One of the major tools of motion graphics is track mats. They're usually black and white files and they act like masks that reveal things. So the art of motion graphics is all about revealing something rather than just showing. Things that grow, that's a really common motion graphics tool or element or file type that you would use and you blend all of these together to create a final project. Usually in our school we composite everything in a program called After Effects. It's a part of the Adobe suite and that's where you would do most of your work. I see a definite trend towards um, 3D. The first motion graphics pieces which were really were used in film they were completely 2D and they were more like animation that was sort of enchanting. Lately it's really blended together with actual visual effects, explosions, you know, fog and smoke and actual 3D elements so it's really heavy on the compositing part so it's kind of it's getting more and more technically based because the design skills still have to be very solid so you have to be kind of like a graphic designer but you really have to do modeling as well. John Blaylock, I'm an instructor in the Visual effects and motion graphics major. Visual effects is, you know, kind of a newer thing where it's all computer based. So if you need fire, you need an explosion dust or something like that, or a model or anything that you can't shoot in real life or would be impractical for cost reasons or safety reasons, that's visual effects and you do it in the computer. For the visual effects pipeline, you know, you, you go from people who traditionally would scan the film to either give it, get it digital and they have people who clean up all the dust spots, you have people that do paint and roller, you have people that do match moving, you know, of course you have the whole 3D department which has a bunch of subcategories like, uh, you know, modeling, texturing, lighting, rigging, uh, you know, animation, cloth animation, all those different things. And then of course you have compositing and, uh, you know, dynamics and fluids and particles and things like that as well. It's, it's, it's pretty amazing to see all the different categories and uh, depending on what type of studio you're at, if it's a really huge studio or a smaller studio, you may be doing one specific thing or you may be doing a number of things. It just kind of depends. When you're working on a game or a movie or whatever it is, there tends to be so many people that work on it that you need to be able to work as a group. And so when you're doing dailies, you know, when you're critiquing uh, other people's work or people are critiquing your work, it's be able to take that feedback or, you know, constructively give that feedback so you can continue to help people, you know, revise their work. And then, of course, you revise your work as well. Just being a team player, I guess, is one of the biggest things. We're teaching you, you know, the art behind it and how the theory and the ideology behind it. And that way, no matter what application you have, the application will just be your brush and, and then what you actually do is you're the artist and you're using that, that brush you know, to paint your masterpiece. I chose this program because of the um, motion graphics mainly. Um, I'm a big fan of title sequences and commercials that use motion graphics. For the motion graphics I use After Effects. One of my favorite projects that I worked on was a motion graphics project. It was an advertisement for JetBlue Airlines. Um, I had to draw out everything in Illustrator and then bring it all in. And, composite it and animate it in uh, After Effects, but it was, uh, turned out to be a pretty good project. I watch a lot of movies, a lot of science fiction movies, a lot of all kinds of movies, and whatever has their visual effects, I just like, I want to know how to do it. At first I didn't know how to, how, to, how to model, so I decided to grab a picture for reference and just decided to model it, and I just started doing it, and towards the end of the, the class, uh, you just push yourself to do it and you know just try to make it look as as much as a picture as a reference as possible and you start to learn a lot you know just push yourself i really want to work for the top companies out there for visual effects like industrial light and magic or weta digital you know the guys who did avatar or just any big company like that would be my dream i've always been interested in video games and movies I thought it'd be a really cool job to be able to actually create that stuff. It'd be a really good work environment, so I decided to actually come back to school and just take visual effects here at AI. One project that uh, I really had a good time doing was the still to life in uh, shake compositing. We just took a still image and then we broke it up and put on different planes, then animated it, gave it parallax, and then also added a smoke and fire effects. It's a very rewarding program, like if you put the time in, like 
there is a lot of time that goes into it, but if you put the time in, then uh, you output really great looking stuff and some you could be proud of. I'm Tom Baker and I am the academic director for Media Arts Animation and the Visual Effects and Motion Graphics programs. The program comes in two flavors. One is in Visual Effects and all that's involved in that for film and television uh, or also for motion graphics. Again, that is also for film and television. Well, what they can expect from this major is uh, to be on the cutting edge of what is being developed and what is happening in those industries. Um, that's kind of the goal of the Art Institute because we are industry driven. Number one thing that students need to have is they have to have a passion. They have to have a passion for this work. Um, it's a creative industry and because it's visual, everyone has an opinion. Motion graphics, you could get a job and be an art director at a television station. Uh, you could be a designer at a TV station or a cable network. The other part of it is the visual effects side of it. There are plenty of opportunities for compositors out there. There's opportunities for uh, match movers, people that will match live action plates to CGI environments. Teamwork is absolutely critical. People like to work with people that are fun to work with. In the professional arena, you absolutely have to be positive, you have to be friendly, you have to communicate. I think the most important thing for students to understand coming into the program or if they're in the program is that we expect a high level of work from them, high quality. We expect excellent portfolios and we expect them to be hired into the industry and for that to happen it's going to take a lot of hard work and a lot of late nights and they have to be passionate about what they're doing they have to really want it